Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you how to work with and how to utilize the unscheduled events uh, tab on the calendar view in SharePoint Online. Uh, let me explain to you the situation. So uh, this is applicable uh, to the um, lists, all right, to the SharePoint lists. Uh, uh, and especially the calendar view on a SharePoint list. Um, so here is a use case. I have this uh, list of projects, all right? And of course, I build this, you know, custom list with custom metadata where I track all the different uh, metrics about uh, the different projects, you know, start and dates, status, project manager, etc. And then, of course, behind the scenes, um, we can also have a calendar view. I actually recorded a video already on my YouTube channel on how to record uh, to create a calendar view, really easy. So feel free to check it out. But I already have it. So here's a calendar view of my of the same you know projects appearing in a calendar uh, you know format. Uh, but uh, let me explain to you the use case uh, for unscheduled events. So, for example, um, let's say I'm going to add a new project, all right? So I'm going to uh, just add a project, you know, and let's just say I am adding some uh, metrics here. Doesn't really matter, all right? But you know what? One thing I don't fill out are the dates, all right? So I click Save. Here we go. Here is my entry right here. Uh, I don't have the date, though, right? So it does appear on this list, but when I click on the calendar view, uh, obviously the project will not appear here. Why? Because we uh, essentially, um, you know, we don't have the dates assigned, right? Uh, with that being said, we now have uh, this unscheduled, um, you know, events um, view right here. So if you click here, it's going to show you all the entries on that list that are not on this calendar, all right? So essentially, all the centers appear in the list, all right, with rows and columns, but obviously they cannot appear on the calendar. Why? Because obviously uh, there are no dates. But let me show you uh, one other cool thing you can do here. You can actually drag and drop these items to your calendar and assign the dates right in here. So for example, uh, you know what this project uh, needs to start on, you know, 21st. So I'm just going to hover over this particular date. Uh, and essentially, yeah, it probably added it. Yeah, right here. You cannot even see it because there are so many projects happening on this day. Here we go. Now it's gone from unscheduled, um, you know, events uh, tab. And it, it, is, it does appear over here, all right, for this particular date. And what happened behind the scenes, the date, field got automatically filled out uh, as well. Let me prove it to you. So I'm going to navigate back to my all items view and look at this. The dates got assigned, all right? Uh, now it only, it goes by, I have a few date columns. It, it took just the start date. Um, so obviously if I need to adjust the, you know, the end date, I probably need to navigate back and, you know, kind of change it to, to whatever I want. Uh, but I, it does only go by one date, all right? You cannot, assign multiple dates that way it just literally you know grabs um i guess the first available you know kind of column and assigns it today all right uh but pretty cool uh feature nonetheless uh maybe i don't know you have uh, projects maybe you have a calendar of uh, uh vacations you know birthdays uh, anniversaries you know stuff like that you can easily um just you know drag and drop them and assign the dates uh, right from the calendar pane uh, and uh, uh, not even be in the view uh, all right, in the other view, all right? Uh, so that's all I wanted to show you in this particular video. A nice cool feature that we now have in SharePoint Online. And hopefully, uh, I hope to see you again on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.